What's up guys, it's Chris with Palmer Aquatics. Today we're talking about aquarium blasting sand. I'm doing this entertainment center build with six 20 gallon fish aquariums. They're 20 gallon talls and I'm using blasting sand for all of these aquariums. Aquarium blasting sand is easily one of the cheapest and best options for your fish aquariums. And today I wanna to talk about all the variables that you might be asking yourself, like where do I buy blasting sand? Is it worth my time to use? It's kind of scary. Should I buy aquarium sand versus blasting sand? You know, it's a little more. Um, how do I rinse it, et cetera, et cetera. Let's just deep dive into this. I first want to start by giving you my brutal, most honest opinion on aquarium blasting sand. I hands down think if you're buying aquarium sand from a pet store, you're a complete idiot because blasting sand is like one fifth of the price and it's exactly the same stuff. There are some minor details like it's a little heavier. It has a little bit smaller of granular size, but guys, you need to be buying blasting sand instead of aquarium sand. Let me break down the price difference for you. Aquarium sand from a pet store is going to cost on average $1 per pound. Blasting sand is going to cost 20 cents per pound. That's the difference, guys. And I know there's going to be people arguing me in the comment section, and I want to go over the main difference between aquarium sand and blasting sand. There's two major differences. One is going to be granular size. Blasting sand is a, is a bit smaller in size and it's a bit more dense. So that means it's heavier. And some people will even claim that they enjoy blasting sand a little more because it doesn't get in the water column as easy as aquarium sand and get into their filters. So I want to state that. It is a little bit smaller and a little bit heavier. That's literally the only difference. Oh, and you have to rinse it because it doesn't come pre-rinsed. Are you really going to pay the difference in price to rinse the sand? Because even a lot of people will spend the time rinsing the sand that's aquarium safe anyways from the pet store. The next most common question people always ask me is, Chris, where do I buy this stuff? And the best I found is at Tractor Supply Company. I have to drive 50 miles to this place because it is hands down the best. So get in Google and try to find a Tractor Supply Company near you. I've tried the blasting sand from Menards. I've tried it from Home Depot. Hands down, the best is from Tractor Supply, and this stuff is $9.99 a bag. And you want to make sure that you get the black label brand here. It's black diamond, and it's size medium. Do not get the fine grit because you're actually going to hate your life because it is super, super fine. It's a dollar cheaper, but do not get it. You need to get the black uh, the black label black diamond blasting sand it's 10 bucks a bag that amounts to 20 cents per pound and the next thing people stress is rinsing the aquarium sand a lot of people buy aquarium sand specifically from pet stores so that they don't have to rinse it is it really that much work to just throw some sand in a bucket and rinse it in your shower or bathtub? I will go through how I rinse it. Just throw a little bit of sand in a bucket and go to your shower slash bathtub. This is the key here, guys. What you want to do is buy some of this generic aquarium padding to put over the drain because when you're rinsing it, you don't want the debris that comes off the sand to go down into your drain. I'll throw a link to this stuff in the description box of the video. It's like four or five dollars and I feel it's completely worth it because if you have to have a plumber come out and snake aquarium sand out of your drain, it could be easily a couple hundred bucks. And what I do is just cut this stuff up. I throw it over the drain. I start rinsing the aquarium sand and that way the water that goes into the drain filters all the particulate out of it before it goes down the drain. A couple dollars will be easily worth it here. I'm doing it in my shower. Yes, it's sort of a savage moment, but uh, you know, it's negative 20 degrees here in Minnesota today. I would use a garden hose, but it's minus 20 and uh, the shower is going to make do today. So all you do is rinse, run water over the aquarium substrate and uh, use a stick, use your hand, use a hose, whatever have you. Just run water over the substrate. It's literally that easy. And continue 
to rinse the amount of sand in, that you need for your aquarium. It's literally that simple. If you, I, I get so many questions on this aquarium blasting sand that it's overcomplicating it to people somehow. Like you just, it's all about finding the right brand. If you can try to find a tractor supply and buy the black diamond, black label, medium grit sand. You got to trust me on this. I will also argue that this is the cheapest aquarium substrate there is. You could say that pool filter sand might be a dollar cheaper or $2 cheaper for a 50 pound bag, but does it look as good as black sand? Uh, I know we could get into an argument match on in the comment section and go ahead and do so. I would argue that black sand looks better than the natural colored sand, but that's just me. And really, it depends the day for me. As you can see, look how much debris came off of this stuff. So yes, that is the biggest setback with blasting sand. A fair amount of debris comes off of it. But that's that's life, guys. You're probably going to be rinsing your aquarium sand, your air quotes, aquarium bot sand, and debris is going to come off of that as well. So it's like if you're you're probably going to be rinsing no matter what, and why not spend a fifth of the amount of money in buying blasting sand and you can spend that money on fish instead of substrate. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section what you think of my entertainment center. I really like this build. I kind of been dreaming of this build like for years and years and years. Um, I didn't know what size tanks I was going to use, but I did decide to go with 20 gallon talls in this build. It's six 20 gallon talls with a 50 inch LED. So uh, this is kind of like my utter zen when I go to watch television. This is going to be mainly planted plant or planted tank. Sorry, I can't speak. So there you have it, guys. The aquarium blasting sand. This stuff is super easy. I highly advise you use it and save yourself some money. Let me know in the comment section what you think and give this video a like. Whoop, whoop.